you see that slide? <laughs> Alright, we got the scab ready to go. Let's... Knock on factory. My scav karma always goes down. We'll go in reserve. See if we can get a juicy raider loadout. This is a pretty good kit, too. Are we still hosting Armory Forger servers? Yeah, the WCS servers are still live. I'll probably actually hop on tomorrow and play the new update. No, we're playing SBT Tarkov, which is a modded version of Escape from Tarkov. You still need to own the base game and download it through the official launcher, through, like, you know, the BSG website, like, normally you'd play Tarkov, and then you go to the SBT website and download the client. And then what makes SBT really great is the extra mods that are made by other modders. So the SBT team is different than the modder who made the realism mod or made the sane AI mod. Oh, he got smoke checked by somebody to the right. Oh, he's looting him. Damn, okay, this is a big come up here, boys. This is a big raid. Got a gas mask, too. This gas mask effect is actually really good, too. He just blended in a bunch of the different things from the base game. It looks really nice. It'd be nice if there was an indicator for biohazards outside of checking your health tab. This gas mask sound is really good though. Does it affect your ADSing? Okay, no, it doesn't. Cool. Ooh, that shotgun is sick. He's got, oh, he's got an AP7 though, we gotta grab that. You guys got a backpack? Fuck. Chungus among us here has the biggest bag we need. Holy, he's got a flash drive too. Look at that mutant dude, holy. This is a huge raid.
bone fence? Yes. You miss anything? <laughs> I might need a. Should grab another one of these gas masks because we're actually going to need them. SO2 is pretty sweet as well. I think we wear the 511 and we put this in here. Okay. Big raid. We just gotta get it alive now. I love this new gas mask effect. They added uh, biohazard and stuff, so we're getting toxic. It's still kinda going up though, but our gas mask is keeping us uh, somewhat safe. They did a really good job on the breathing effects, too. They break you boys. Alright, we're cool. There's a chance they might kill me. I'm sorry. Sorry, right, you guys gotta die now. He scared the shit out of me, bro. I didn't want to do that. He scared the shit out of me, bro. Sorry, scab bros. My karma's been so nuked. <laughs> Rat bastard, dude. <laughs> uh, I love it, dude. Like I said, man, when you play SBT against these bots, they're just like little f***ing players, bro. They'll use all the f***ing bastard tactics. <laughs> Cheeky fucker. <sighs> I love on the SBT mod, even though when you're like grossly overweight and you're carrying way too much shit, I can still like walk and regen my stamina. Isn't that crazy? Fucking big firefight going off over there though. You get the fuck out of here. So are all PMC's raiders have missions coded into them? Uh, yeah, basically, they all have like goals and objectives. So like, for example, raiders, when they spawn in, is to like, guard and defend a specific area. If they get injured or something in that process though, they might actually try and leave the raid. So every AI, PMC, scav, like, it's no longer like, you have the AI scavs that spawn at old gas, AI stav scavs that spawn at new gas, AI scavs that spawn at shoreline resort, or whatever. Every AI has its own goals, missions, personalities, and objectives. And that's why it feels so interesting. And they all react to each other, too. So it's like, you are still just another, like, cog in the wheel of the raid. Okay, now we got a f***ing loadout, so we can actually go do something now. Let me get an optic for this that's not... Dog water. Uh, let's see. And honestly, we can just run irons. Yeah, we can just run irons on this. That's fine. This new position is actually kind of nice with the weapons, too. They kind of lowered it a bit. I think this is also new with the update. You see less of the gun, but you see more of the game, which I would argue is more important. Like, you're over there holding, like, a Scar H or some shit and can't see half your screen anymore. Pretty, pretty crap. But right here, it seems like it's a little bit lower. It reminds me more of, like, Arma or Insurgency Sandstorm, actually. Don't be wrong, I think it's good that you should have the gun, you know, displayed on the screen. You should be able to see the animations and stuff, because it's obviously cool to appreciate that. Adds to the gameplay, you know what I mean? But it gets to a certain point where it's like, if your gun is literally covering up half your screen, like, that's not, that's not a good thing.
Oh, break you battle? <laughs> yeah, I, since I'm using irons, I don't wanna I don't wanna waste my ammo. Just like mag dumping at people and I can't really see them super well. I've been fiddling insane in SBT and I'm surprised how often I've died because I think that oh hey I want aim like a player, XYZ situation. Yeah, no, I I I am. I'm using those mods. I genuinely believe SPT with a default sane AI preset is more difficult than actual Tarkov. More, I, I guarantee you veteran players would die more to these AI because consistently most of these bots are better than your average player and make better decisions than your average player. I heard something in metal. Ooh, that's like it's cool. That thing is dope. I kind of would like to grab this bag. I don't think it's fit in there though. I think it does. More CMSs, man. It's not gonna fit. C30 bag though. A little bit easier to use. I think I'll put this red dot on the AK. Don't really need it on a Sega. I like this setup a lot though, it's very cool. Actually, me. Damn, somebody's been running a train on the scabs over here, bro. Jesus. That's what I mean too, like... Even though it's SBT, it's like you still come across like remnants of... All these firefights and engagements and stuff, it's wild. Bodies everywhere, bullets... And ball holes in the wall and shit. Love to see it. on the culprit.
Так, ладно, работаем дальше. Давай, давай, давай! Might have been Kelly, yeah. Yeah, it was him. Every scab up though, dude. This guy went on a fucking rampage. I can't put tactic in the bag, unfortunately. It just wouldn't work. Really, uh, tactic? I don't think should be a two, a, a four by four. I feel like it should be a three by three, honestly. Is tactic like uh, comparatively to like the other rigs, like? It's too big, you know? Like it should, uh, it should definitely be a 3x3, like a MAC or something, you know? Yeah, I could put the mask on and save some room, that's true. I'm gonna have to listen to my breathing. It'd be cool if the gas mask could go on like one of your special slots. Being well detached to your belt or something. 
Or even if Gear had shit like that, if Gear had like attachment points, kind of like DayZ, where you can like attach a weapon or like a, you know, a melee weapon or something to it. You know what I mean? You have all the markers. Gotta make the rounds. Enough uh, hydro to be okay. Got super water. Ooh, you see that slide? <laughs> Holy shit! Bro, peeled out of the corner. Jesus. That's a magnum, too. Water. Too good not to pass up. It was always nice. Ooh, I love that optic, holy shit. I like that optic a lot, holy. Thing's nice. Thank you, Sierra. I think we should have time to do that. I've actually been interested in setting up a Project Fika server, which is basically multiplayer SPT, so we can do like multiplayer private servers, but with Tarkov. And so what you can do is you can actually offload the server, because like how SPT works is we have the server, and this is the server that's running all the bots, it's generating all the loot, it's, it's you know, basically what would normally be ran on like the server that you connect to, or a regular Tarkov. And if you can put that onto like a dedicated machine, and it does all the processing, all of the performance problems go away. So, in theory, like we could play co-op, SPT, crank the AI up to like a million, and like, 
practice play, and the performance would be better than live or like live, depending on the dedicated machine that you had. You get stuttering when bots are loading in near you. Something crazy that happens pretty often. That's probably because you have AI that are constantly spawning in Tacticat, so you want to just adjust your spawn settings under Swags. Again, this is how you guys can save performance up a ton. Starting PMCs only, so it's just like live, and uh, make your scavrids just like this as well. This way, it makes it so that AI that spawn in periodically aren't going to be happening as, as frequently, and it can help a lot with your performance, so... I definitely recommend that because I want the raids to still feel very much like normal Tarkov raids so I don't want it to be like totally different but yeah you could like have infinite raid timers and unlimited spawns and like hundreds of PMCs that could potentially come to a raid but that's that's just like a little bit too far out of what Tarkov is already and I don't want to like massively change the experience more than I already have like I still want it to kind of feel like the regular in and out of raid experience that you have uh I'm pretty sure I do have questing bots do I not yeah we got it right here Questing bots is pretty performance heavy. Like looting bots, questing bots, staying together can be an amazing experience, but you need a good PC to run it on your client. If not, you're gonna have to figure out how to offload it to another server with like Project Speaker or something. You're still stuck on ground here. Ground Zero? Dude, honestly, Ground Zero uh, for Zero to Hero is really fun. And Ground Zero is always a great fallback map to go to because you can go there and kind of get some decent kits. You can go get, you know, guns, gear, ammo, food. Like, it all spawns very consistently there. And it's a very easy map to get in and out of. And the fights are hella fun. And it runs great, too. It's probably one of the best running maps. I just wish it was a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Wish, like, more, like, underground areas. Just a little bit more ways to kind of traverse the rest of the map. Because there is a bunch of, like, choke points. But that can kind of be a good thing sometimes. Like, early on, like, when I do my Zero to Hero runs, I'm basically going to that restaurant and just grabbing food and water. Food and water. That's always, like, your biggest initial struggle with the Zero to Hero runs. If you don't have food and water, your, your character is going to die hella fast, and you're going to have to reset your account. Coming from a nominee, you like the hardcore playstyle? Yeah, man, for sure. I'm right there with you, man. That's why we're playing it right now. Again, if I could play this with other people and against other people, like live Tarkov, it would be my ideal Tarkov experience. I wonder if one day I could ask Nikita if we could have private, like, modded servers, man. It would be so cool. Nice, good raid, man. That was a good one.